everyone. Uh, welcome to Careers 360 AI PMT How to Fill uh, Application Form video. So uh, here we are going to talk how you should fill your AI PMT uh, online form and uh, avoid any mistakes. So uh, let's start with the application form. Uh, you need to go to the website aipmt.nic.in that is the official website uh, for filling up the AI PMT form. Now uh, we are on the home page. Uh, now before you start uh, filling the application there is an option of AI PMT Bulletin 2014. So uh, ensure you are uh, going through the information brochure before filling the information. Uh, this will ensure that you don't end up doing any mistake. Uh, there are details given in the brochure related to the size of photo, uh, type of photo and every small detail that you need uh, to ensure while filling the form. So do go through that. Also you can log on to uh, careers360.com and we have a dedicated article on uh, step by step guide on filling the EIPM 2014 online application form. Uh, going through that will ensure you are uh, very clear of every step in the application form. So uh, take out time and do go through the video. Now uh, after uh, you do that uh, there is an option on the AIPMT website of online application and there is an option for apply online. Over there there are concise instructions given over there so before you start filling the application uh, go through them once again so that uh, you are pretty clear of that. Now there are five steps. Uh, we will start from the first step of filling the online application online. This will open a new pop-up uh, where you need to start filling the application. Now uh, the initial options will be around uh, the candidate's name and the mother's and father's name. So uh, we'll start filling the names. Uh, let me fill the names as well along with. So I'm filling my candidate's name, mother's name, father's name. And uh, after that uh, I need to fill the date of birth of the candidate. So uh, in date of birth uh, the important thing is the candidate should be uh, minimum age is actually 17 years and uh, maximum age is 25 years for a general candidate. So uh, accordingly if you are eligible you are filling your date. Now in nationality uh, you need to choose uh, the nationality as I am Indian so I am choosing Indian. Now uh, in this option they have very clearly given uh, that uh, students of Andhra Pradesh and Jammu and Kashmir are not applicable for the 15% or India quota. So uh, for example if I am from Gujarat I am choosing this option. If I am staying in some other state uh, then I will be preferring the domicile as per my parents. So I have chosen Gujarat and chosen my gender and general category. Now here uh, UR means unreserved category which uh, represents general category. So if you are in general you need to fill UR. Now uh, over here uh, for data word they have given the instructions. Uh, next coming to the physically disabled, uh, if you are a physically disabled candidate you need to uh, get a certificate from the listed hospitals only. So go through that uh, before you fill that option and get the according certificate. Now uh, I have chosen my place of residence and uh, after that I am filling my address. So fill your house number and block number in locality choose any uh, area which is close by to you which is uh, known. In city town village I am filling uh, my city New Delhi and in state I am choosing Delhi. Now uh, see my home state domicile was Gujarat but uh, since my address is in Delhi so these things can differ. Now uh, I am adding my PIN code, uh, email ID ensure that that is a working email ID uh, because if you are receiving any communication that uh, that should be a working email ID. It can be yours, it can be of your parents as well. Now I am entering my mobile number uh, followed by I need to enter my landline number. <coughs> So after that uh, we'll move to the next section in which uh, which basically deals with the domicile of candidate. Now I'm filling my domicile. Now there are uh, instructions given over there as well which again says that if you are a student from other state but uh, residing in AP and GNK then you can submit an affidavit uh, by which you will be able to give AIPMT. So my state of domicile is Delhi uh, because my parents belong to Gujarat but they are residing in Delhi from past 26 years. So my domicile is of Delhi. Now I am filling my uh, address again over here and uh, choosing my district. Okay. So uh, I have filled details about my domicile. Now followed by that you need to give information about your mother and father uh, regarding qualification, occupation and annual income. So I am choosing uh, my father's uh, details as business and uh, the selected uh, annual income and for mother as uh, if she is a housewife I can choose the others option and choose the minimum salary option or annual income option. Now after that uh, I need to fill my academic details uh, which start with the 10th class or the secondary in which I am filling name of my school, address of my school and uh, I need to give details about my 10th examination percentage and other details. 
So uh, now I'm going to choose uh, the board of examination in which uh, I appeared my 10th. So uh, let me fill my board. Okay, now I need to choose the type of institution of class uh, 10th. Now uh, I was in government school, so I chose government school. And year of passing, uh, I chose 2012. Now here I need to enter the percentage of marks I obtained in class 10th. So uh, I'm going to enter them over here. Just give me a second. So uh, after filling the details of class 10th, uh, I need to move to the 12th. Now here in 10th they have given details about if you are in percentile then how you need to enter. Percentile as in the CGPA part of for example in 10th CBSE they give. Now moving on to the next section I am filling for 12th. So uh, they have given various board codes in which uh, I need to fill accordingly. For example if I am a 12th appearing uh, candidate for this year I will fill as option 01. Uh, they have given various options for pass outs, uh, BSc first year. So whichever domain you fall into, uh, you need to choose the respective board code uh, as per the education qualification you have. Now uh, let me fill the qualification code, uh, then we will move ahead to the next options in which we need to fill details of uh, senior secondary or class 12th. So uh, these are all the options of qualification codes. Now uh, I need to choose my year of passing along with the school board. So I have chosen my uh, qualification examination code and my board as CBSE and uh, since I am going to appear in 2014, so I am filling as 2014 and I don't need to now fill the roll number and percentage. So again choosing government school, name of uh, the school and address and uh, <coughs> after that I will be choosing uh, the details of uh, class 12. So over there uh, I am choosing the state as Delhi. Okay, so after that you need to choose the district which is again goes as south and uh, since I am an appearing candidate I don't need to fill the percentage of marks and the roll number. Now this is the option th they have uh, very clearly given that uh, these will be pre-filled as per the information uh, filled above. So these will be uh, basically applicable for the students who are from states uh, which are taking state level admission as well on the basis of AIPMT for example Haryana or uh, Chhattisgarh or Madhya Pradesh. Now uh, the next option uh, I am choosing my state after the state of eligibility I am choosing the next option as medium of question paper as in English and Hindi. After that I need to choose uh, the examination center where I need to give first, second and third priority wise choice where first is the highest so I am giving first as De uh, Delhi uh, followed by the other options. So my first priority will be Delhi. Uh, if Delhi is not available, they will allot me the second choice and followed by third choice. So I have given my second choice as Gurgaon. The final thing is uh, you need to put the security pin. Uh, once you enter the security pin and click uh, the next button, it asks you to review the page. Uh, ensure that uh, you review the page properly and see if you have made any mistake because later on you will not be able to edit the page. So now I can review my page, I can check all the details that I have filled right now. And if I can uh, see any mistake then I can edit it right now. But once I click on submit now, it will not be an editable form. So uh, I think I filled all the uh, correct details. Now moving ahead uh, to enter the security pin and proceed to the next step. So it again asks me that if I am sure and I am clicking uh, yes please do. As soon as I do it, it gives me my registration number. Now the next step is I need to upload photo and signature. So uh, let me go to the next step. Uh, over here I need to choose uh, my photograph, the candidate's photograph. And uh, okay, so the specifications are already given. Uh, these are passport size photographs of 3.5 into 4.5 centimeter dimensions. And uh, the photo should be in white background and should have student's name and date of click of photo which should be after 1st of December. I've also chosen my uh, signature and when I click next it gives me the preview. So uh, I think they are decent and uh, now I'm moving ahead to the next step and for that I need to enter the security pin and upload the images. So once I do that uh, I move to the third step and the final step which is uh, paying of the application fees which I can do either by uh, debit card or credit card or by e-chalan. So for example I am opting for e-chalan uh, by syndicate bank. I have other options of Canara bank and post office as well. So this is my e-chalan of syndicate bank and uh, I am clicking on save to download it to my system. It's a pdf so you can take a print out of that. 
if you are not able to take uh, right now you can uh, save it in a pen drive or any other um, drive now uh, <coughs> we need to uh, i'm going to the website uh, so once i pay the fees in syndicate bank any branch you can go i'm going to the website to uh, confirm my transaction now over there there's an option of uh, make payment in which i am clicking on update each alarm details so once i click on that it will ask for some basic details in that i need to enter my uh, registration number of aipmt which i can take from the bank chalan as well and i need to enter some other basic details uh, after which it will uh, give me login access to the details that i have already filled so let me enter the details in my uh, profile so i'm entering my application number i'm selecting the mode of payment as through e-chalan and uh, i need to give some details like my date of birth so uh, once i choose my date of birth i need to enter the security pin that is already given below so uh, let me fill my date of birth first okay so i'm entering the security pin and after that i need to click submit so it will give me a page where i need to fill details of my e-chalan uh, submission in syndicate bank so over here i need to enter a transaction id <coughs> and the amount uh, is already there so uh, i need to enter other details like uh, date of deposit and where i have deposited them so i'm entering my transaction id followed by the date i paid so uh, for example if i paid uh, on 6th of december i'm choosing the date now uh, i'm choosing other details of bank and uh, city where i deposited <coughs> so once i do that uh, i will be uh, sent to the next step uh, which is uh, i have confirmed my payment so finally again here as well you need to enter the security pin and once you enter the security pin you need to click on submit so once i click on submit it uh, says that you have successfully submitted the online application and i can now download the completion page of eipmt application now here all the details are given uh, what you need to do is you need to take four printouts of this uh, confirmation page and one you need to send uh, to the eipmt office and the address uh, i'll tell you how to get the address and three copies are for your reference so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a printout of the application paste a photograph put my thumb impression signature and get the photo attested by my school principal or by a gazetted officer all the space are properly given over there ensure you don't do any mistake in this and uh, <coughs> you also need your parent signature in this uh, confirmation page so uh, once you do that uh, you need to uh, send this uh, to the address which i'm going to tell you how to get this there is an option of print address slip on the eipmt website again you need to follow the same procedure you need to enter your uh, application number that is your registration number followed by mode of payment and choose your date of birth so uh, once you do that it will give you a page in which you will have address so you directly need to cut that slip and pa uh, paste on the envelope and uh, there is a checklist as well below that so before you send or uh, finalize uh, your envelope for sending to the cbse go through the checklist and ensure you have not missed any single step what they have asked you to send so i'm clicking here now it gives me the address slip i'll take a print out there is a line shown from where i need to cut this page and put the upper part of this slip on the envelope uh, where this form will be sent so all the details my application number sender's address uh the aipmt address everything is on the slip now below this uh, there is a checklist where you can check uh, what all you need to send okay the photo you will send just ensure you are writing your name phone number and registration number on back of the photo so that's it uh, you need to do in the form thank you